Thank you for being with us, Minister. Welcome to Uncensored. How confident is the government on defeating uh, the US backed resolution which is to be presented at the Human Rights Council session in Geneva? The government delegation has done its best, their best to convince the international community as well as the members of the council in order to defeat any resolution that would be brought. But uh, one has to be mindful that uh, uh, US is a very powerful country in the world. Uh, they can influence the smaller nations and uh, the, the many countries uh, in the European bloc uh, uh, to ensure that, uh, uh, that they win the resolution. But uh, uh, Sri Lanka has a pride and we have the, the truth is in our side. Uh, because the LLRC report is concerned, Sri Lanka has already taken uh, several steps uh, for the purpose of implementation of this report. Nowhere in the world when such a conflict has occurred and within a short period of time uh, a nation has addressed all the issues connected with the conflict. Uh, in the case of South Africa and in many other countries, it has taken several years to implement the recommendations of this commission uh, which has been appointed. But we are happy to stay, though Sri Lanka is a smaller nation, an emerging uh, nation now uh, in, uh, within the third world countries. We have done our best uh, to uh, walk alone the process of reconciliation uh, to best of our ability. If you, for example, if you take uh, uh, the resettlement process, uh, I think even uh, in Geneva, the many countries applauded uh, the great amount of work done uh, by the Sri Lankan government within a very short period of time how we have settled more than 300,000 uh, people who were displaced uh, from <coughs> their uh, uh, villages uh, due to the terrorist acts of the uh, LTT. Uh, only there are about 5,000 people who have not yet been resettled uh, in their own villages. That is due to the fact that the uh, landmine landmines has not been clear uh, because in terms of the uh, UN Charter we cannot uh, resettle people in an area where there are landmines because the government will have to ensure the life, lives of the people uh, who have been displaced. So therefore as soon as the uh, 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 landmines are clear we will resettle that uh, about five to six thousand uh, families who are remain now also in their villages, but uh, within a very short period of time, more than two hundred and ninety-five thousand people were resettled. They were given housing. They were given uh, uh, livelihood support, and now they are contributing uh, to the uh, national economy. Uh, the, the the economic growth in the northern province is 22 uh, uh, percent. So, so that is a remarkable growth uh, that of the, the, the uh, uh, whole area. Uh, so, so therefore those are the uh, great achievements which have been uh, achieved by the uh, Sri Lankan government. So what uh, that is the NLRC report also contemplates that uh, the, the, the question of this place person must be addressed explicitly. So which we have done. So, so, so that is the area where the government has fulfilled its obligation without any question. For example, you go into the next area, uh, that is uh, b b the, uh, the question of detainees. You know, more than 10,000 LTT carders were taken into custody 
uh, after the end of the uh, uh, humanitarian operations. And what did we do? Did we kill them? No. And did we harm them? No. Uh, we took them into custody. We rehabilitated them. And uh, uh, they were handed over, back over to their parents in front of the diplomatic community uh, at the Amadi at Dhamandile. I witnessed that incident where yeah, some of the uh, LTT hardcore detainers uh, who were rehabilitated were handed over to their parents. Uh, so their parents were in tears. They never thought that the government will do, do, do such a thing. So therefore, uh, now there are only about 800 detainees uh, out of the more than 11 or 12,000 people who are taken into custody. All others have been released, rehabilitated and integrated into the civil society. And we are giving them uh, the uh, life support, etc. and uh, trying to find them jobs, uh, uh, vocational training. Uh, so, uh, one of the recommendations in the LLRC uh, report is that the detainees should be integrated into the society as soon as possible. Uh, the, the, uh, which recommendation we have about 98% has been uh, fulfilled. The, the, the other people who are remaining under custody are people uh, who have committed the grave crimes and uh, where the court cases are pending and where the investigations are pending <coughs> by the Attorney General and by the CID. Uh, so, uh, I think the international community they should understand that, uh, uh, that uh, the, the Sri Lanka has done a lot because they should not, uh, they should judge objectively our performances. They should not uh, try uh, to uh, look at us, uh, if they look at us with the uh, with the uh, 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 spectacles with some dark uh, red or blue or green, they will only see everything is blue, everything is red, everything is green. See? So, they should look at objective. They should assess what we have done. So, therefore, the, the position of the Sri Lankan government and us is that uh, we have uh, 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 honestly implemented some of the Recommend LLRC recommendations, uh, which could be uh, things which could have done practically within the uh, the time space which has been given to us. So therefore, a resolution contemplated by the United uh, 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 US is not reasonable. There is no equity in that. There is no need for such a solution. Calling for the Sri Lankan government to give a roadmap for the implementation of the LLRC because <coughs> we have already started implementation. And our Sri Lankan Human Rights Action Plan has been published. Uh, the Human Rights Action Plan has been prepared in consultation with the civil society and all stakeholders and that has been approved by the cabinet and the action plan also approved by the cabinet and we have embarked upon uh, the uh, uh, implement in the action plan but uh, uh, what uh, we find in these resolutions is that uh, the uh, Sri Lanka is a uh, uh, country, an uh, independent country uh, uh, we are not uh, a satellite of a uh, uh, any of the big countries in the world, huh? uh, we, we have to preserve our independence uh, and our national integrity. Uh, so we can't be dictated. Uh, uh, there is no, uh, uh, no need to dictate to us and to say that we must uh, act in a particular manner because we have been reasonable throughout the conflict and uh, uh, our, our army and, 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 and all the forces, uh, they have handled this situation with the utmost care uh, and, and with the, uh, in, in a very humane manner. We witnessed that 
so therefore uh, uh, and even after the uh, conflict uh, is over human train operation is over sri lankan government has spent more money in the north and east other than in the south so there was no discrimination we have uh, 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 we have that the people who have been affected uh, uh, by this conflict uh, in a very human way <coughs> we have uh, uh, siphoned a lot of funds uh, for the uh, development of the north and east and development of the livelihoods and uh, support and the sri lankan government has uh, uh, in, in fact spoken to india china and many other countries and they have we have got the housing schemes for them and uh, now we are doing the KK Harbour and uh, the A9 and all, all the main uh, infrastructure in those areas for example the irrigation, water supply, uh, library, we have rebuilt all the schools, uh, then uh, uh, the medical institutions. So, I mean anybody who would look at objectively at the activities which has been done by us will appreciate that uh, without any discrimination or without any bias, we have looked after the people in the north and east, sometimes more than that of the south. So therefore this government is genuinely committed to bringing national reconciliation. So therefore they can't accuse this government. No, 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 no country or no person in the international arena or in Sri Lanka can accuse the Sri Lankan government that we are not looking after the interest of the people in the North and East. We, we have done our best and uh, we will continue to do so. Nobody should dictate to us. Nobody, we, 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 uh, I mean, we know what our commitments are. We know what our obligations are. His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksa uh, is quite conscious uh, about the needs of the people in the North and East. He has catered to their needs. He has allocated money for their needs. So therefore nobody should, should dictate to him you should do this, that and all that. That will irritate the whole nation. Because uh, 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 we, 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 we are not under uh, the purview of uh, any, any superpowers because though we are a smaller nation, we should protect our national integrity and, and independence, which our forefathers fought for several thousand years ago. So, Although some countries have uh, already shared their viewpoints on the resolution, most of the UNHRC member nations still remain silent over the matter. But the silent majority would create uh, the biggest impact on the resolution. So, uh, what is the government's plan to garner the support of this silent majority? I told you very specifically from His Excellency the President, the Foreign Minister, as well as every member of the team which went to Geneva, we have we have seriously taken the importance of this issue into account and we have done our best to convince these countries that this type of resolution is unproductive and this type of passing this type of resolution will uh, make things more difficult uh, to bring national reconciliation because people in the south if we get uh, the idea that uh, the big countries are dictating to divide this country or they are dictating uh, to create uh, more uh, commotion within the country uh, that will not be tolerated. We told this to the international community. Leave this to us. We will handle it. The reconciliation process is an internal process that will be implemented by our government. So any form of external interference will derail the uh, 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 reconciliation process which has been embarked upon by our government. The other thing is the reconciliation process must be a homegrown process because this is a problem 
which, which occurred within our own country. Uh, we can't bring in solutions of the other countries uh, to substitute to our country. His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksa and the government uh, uh, of Sri Lanka believes a homegrown solution because we are in a uh, because we have our particular cultural identity uh, uh, and historical perceptions. So therefore, we must respect all these things. Uh, I don't think uh, 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 our, our, our nation is quite educated enough uh, to understand uh, these problems and uh, solutions. Uh, so therefore, uh, the foreign interference uh, will make the matters more complicated. So we have seen even in, the, in many most part of the world uh, when the foreign brokers go to other countries and trying to implement their own perceptions, etc. Uh, uh, thereby that society has been devastated. So therefore, what we tell the international community is, please leave us alone. We will handle this situation. We have handled the uh, uh, terrorism better than any country in the world. Uh, we, we, the, against the most ruthless terrorist group in the world, Sri Lanka fought alone, but of course with the support of uh, many countries like China, India, etc. Huh? Uh, it was fought and uh, uh, we emerged victoriously at the end of the day. So now we have embarked upon the uh, reconciliation process. So allow us, give us time and space to show the results of the reconciliation process. And the history has shown us that the reconciliation process is not something which you can obtain results overnight. It, it needs time and space. The wounds has to be healed. The attitudes has to be changed. So those things will naturally take some time. The Indian government is under immense pressure from various parties who claim that uh, India also should back the US resolution. But the government, on the other hand, is still hopeful about India's support to defeat it. Uh, as a member of the delegation who visited Geneva, uh, what is your stand on the India support? We are confident all the right-thinking countries will be in our side. So we have no doubt about India. The religious leaders have already urged the UNHRC to push the Sri Lankan government towards implementing the LRC recommendations within a certain time frame. How do you view that development? No, what do you mean by the time frame? There is no time, time frame even in the LRC uh, 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 report. Because for example, if you have to embark upon an investigation, if you say you must uh, conclude the investigation within one, uh, within one month, for example, you take the, 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 the assassination of uh, 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 Mr. Kadiragam, our foreign minister, with every one right thinking citizen of this country loved him. We love him. We want to find out who killed uh, uh, Mr. Kadiragam. We have employed uh, 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 the CID teams, police, etc. Huh? Have we been able to find out his assailants? No. You see, you know certain perpetrators, when, do, when they do certain things, huh, they hide the evidence. But however much you try, there are certain investigations where you, you will not be able to get the results within one month or two months or sometimes two, three years. So therefore, certain investigations cannot be completed and bring the people into books huh? uh, within time frame. You see, there are certain things you can do within the time frame. For example, now resettlement of the refugees, the displaced people that we have done. Now. So that once uh, the, 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 the landmines are cleared, we can do it within maybe two years, uh, 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 five months, six months or seven months. And uh, building of the houses, the Indian, government, the Indian government insisted we are doing that. So building the houses also will take some time. Uh, yeah, you have to go get rid of cement, you have to find people to work in the houses. You know, building the house will take certain time, you know. Uh, 
so so therefore you can't ha have strict time frame for uh, for a thing like this that is what i say the reconciliation process is a process that needs time so depending on the type of recommendation and the other thing i also to must say that the government has uh, uh, never agreed uh, to to implement all the recommendations of the llrc the llrc report was, has been given so government will have to disseminate and think what are the things come within the purview of the mandate given to the llrc but uh, uh, some expert says the llrc has gone beyond its mandate huh? so therefore if there is something if there are certain recommendation which go beyond the mandate of the llrc the uh, the government has no way of recommending because they have exceeded their mandate but the government also is studying carefully but uh, uh, the recommendation which can be implemented soon has been already implemented so the the other process with regard to the, for example for the channel 4 now now the army court of inquiry it yeah, yeah, is is uh, 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 investigating into that so what the channel 4 uh, people who did the channel 4 they must send us send the the, the original transcript of that uh, film to uh, for the investigation because you know always you can tamper with these things you know uh, now we have seen that in the film world you, you know that there are many camera tricks you know that can be played huh? sometimes you see many things some people are jumping over the uh, mountains over the buses over the trains but really they are not doing that you no know? huh? huh? but 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 that is the part of the film industry you no know? huh? so therefore we 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 need to examine uh, the, the the original transcript uh, uh, of 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 channel 4 And, and, and there are uh, very many doubts uh, uh, raised against the uh, Channel 4 uh, by by experts. So the government is prepared to to to, to investigate uh, into Channel 4. Uh, I think they have already embarked upon the investigation. But uh, uh, we remember that uh, we, we invited uh, the the, the uh, Amnesty International to come and give evidence in the. Uh, Uh, in the channel for a episode but uh, before they let the rc but they never came huh? they would like to hide in a foreign country and pass judgment over sri lanka without coming before the proper forums and 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 helping us in investigation why are they uh, helping us in investigation why can't they give the uh, uh, channel for uh, original video film if they say that somebody has filmed it Huh? Oh, 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 when when this alleged acts are done, so so the, so so they must produce that evidence. It is quite evident that uh, the government is sort of uh, excessively worried about the term roadmap. Why is that? No, no, we are not at all worried about anything. Why why should we get worried? Because in principle we are opposed to a resolution. in principle there is no need for a resolution there is no either legal or moral justification in bringing a resolution because sri lanka is is uh, giving effect to its obligation so when that is being done we have already started the implementation of some of the uh, uh, proposals of the llrc bringing a resolution at this stage is unproductive it will derail the reconciliation process and uh, it is not the the, the country targeted resolution you know the country targeted resolution the many countries in the council also feel that the country targeted resolution uh, we can't accept or we can't support so we are acting on a principle to coincide with the commencement of the UNHRC session in geneva the government uh, conducted a massive program of demonstrations and uh, protest silent by what was the impact it created upon uh, the us and other unhrc member nations who back the resolution you know what happens domestically 
is the aspirations of the people. The aspiration of the people, the people are against this. People uh, would, you know, like to preserve the integrity of the country and people don't like external interference. So that was the message which has been uh, given by this protest. So that, so, so that was the protest of the people, that country, not of the government. You see, that is the protest of the people of this country. So what the people feel about that. So it is up to the international community to, 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 to take a note of uh, uh, the, the, the consensus of uh, the people of Sri Lanka. So that is also very relevant to the uh, 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 reconciliation process. There can't be reconciliation uh, without uh, a proper mindset in the whole nation. So when they do things of this nature, uh, this way, that's what I say, these things will derail the uh, uh, reconciliation process because we have to win the hearts and mind of not only of the people of the North and East but also of the South also. Without winning the hearts and minds of the people of the South, any uh, reconciliation process will be a failure because it is uh, two sides. The both uh, sides should be satisfied. The government says uh, there's a sinister move to uh, topple the government, but this US resolution is more or less based on implementing LLRC recommendations. So how can it be a part of a conspiracy? As I told you earlier, in principle we are opposed to a resolution. At whose instance these resolutions are being brought? If you take Canada, there are more than 600,000 Tamil diaspora living there. US, UK, France, Germany, Norway, Australia. Some constituencies, which party or which candidate will win depends on the support of the diaspora. They have a considerable influence on the senators and some of the members of parliament and the government. So this is the initiative of those uh, the, 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 the Tamil diaspora. LTT lost the war. Huh? So they know that uh, they can't trace their head. So now they have found another avenue of embarrassing the Sri Lankan government. So they have made use of this situation. I mean it is their influence. I mean, you need to, not to say that, uh, that they are influencing a lot. If you go to Geneva, you can see uh, the, the Tamil diaspora, some of the people, they are coming and canvassing the NGOs, canvassing the uh, 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 country representatives, etc. So, th so this is not an isolated act of the uh, 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 some members of the Human Rights Council. They are being motivated, pushed by uh, the activities of the uh, Tamil diaspora. What, they, what the Prabhakara could not achieve by war, some people think still they can achieve uh, through international pressure to destabilize the government. Will this fresh development uh, affect badly on the relationships between uh, US and Sri Lanka? I don't think not because our relationship with all the countries uh, 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 countries remains intact. The foreign policy of the government of His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksa uh, cannot be, uh, I mean, changed by 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 this type of uh, moves because uh, there are, you know, in the international arena. Uh, uh, for example, you take Iran and. U.S. You would have seen a news item recently. The U.S. has sold a large quantity of grains to Iran. So people think that Iran and uh, U.S. they are loggerheads, but still in certain areas they, they work in cooperation. When it comes to trade, the uh, uh, U.S. did not refuse to sell uh, uh, grain to uh, Iran. So you have to understand the world politics. You see, so with some one incident, you can't break the break the relationship with the country. Huh? You, the 
the good governance and the prudent governance is that uh, whatever the challenges you face, you have to build up friendly relationship even with your enemy. Even with your enemy, you must build a friendly relationship. So this government is the foolish government to break down relationship with the uh, with any of the countries. But we will tell the truth. But we should have the freedom to tell you are wrong. You have no moral right or a legal right to bring this motion. But that does not mean that uh, 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 we are we have engaged a war with the uh, U.S. Huh? You see, even to you can many countries. He said, send the president, then we tell them what you are doing is not correct. If you want to help Sri Lanka, this is not the way to help you. Please don't interfere. We will sort out this problem. Certainly, as an independent country, uh, 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 we have a right to state so. So that should not antagonize any of the countries. Huh? And many countries, they, 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 they tell that. Oh, for example, you, 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 you take some time, even with China and Russia, there are uh, certain differences. But uh, in certain areas, uh, uh, they work very closely. Hmm? So, 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 so that is there. So therefore, uh, I mean, uh, 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 there, there is no uh, threat uh, to our cordial relationship with the West by bringing this resolution. But of course we say that uh, they should not have brought this resolution. We would be more happy if they desist from bringing this resolution. They should think about, uh, 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 they, they should respect our country's national integrity and independence. And leave us alone, then, then we should be more happy. It is rumored that there were various cat fights in the Sri Lankan delegation uh, that visited Geneva human rights session. Is there any truth in that? The, those are only rumors, they are being spread by, by the people who want to destabilize our country. That is part of the campaign. You see, huh? we, we were a one team, we were all together. There, there was, uh, 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 we, we acted as one team for the best interest of the country. I mean, uh, those are just rumors and uh, there is no truth in that. According to some media reports, nearly 20 people have been abducted even after the release of the LLRC report. Uh, it indicates that the government has failed to ensure the freedom and democracy in the country. What is your response to that allegation? As the US government uh, 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 and, and other governments in the world have, have, have they eradicated each and every crime which is happening in the country? In Chicago, in, in many other parts of America, how many people are abducted every day? People are taken for ransom, etc. They may be having the, uh, having the best, uh, best of intelligence and all that. But still there are certain things which have not been unlearned. Huh? But only in Sri Lanka, if, they, if somebody is lost or something like that, they create a big how? You see? Now, now, even in England, how many crimes are being committed? Even in Australia, how many crimes are being committed? So there are criminals, underworld people, huh? all over the world. Is there any country without any single crime, without any single abduction? Huh? So you can't put all that into the account of the government. You see? So generalize and say the government is, why should the government abduct people? We have other things to do. We have a development program. Uh, we, we, we are busy with uh, all, 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 all other, uh, other work. It is quite evident that uh, the bilateral discussions between the government and uh, TNA have come to a halt. Uh, how is it progressing? The uh, government and the TNA, uh, as I told you, told in Geneva, Mr. Sambandha met uh, uh, with me, uh, 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 his excellency the president, and his excellency the president indicated that uh, the, the, the best way to solve this problem is to discuss at the parliamentary select committee and once again requested Mr. Sambandan to appoint the representative of the TNG. The moment they appoint uh, their uh, representative to the PAC, uh, the talks will commence. So there is no reluctance in the part of the government uh, for, the, uh, for, for discussing this issue. 
and it is uh, the ball is in their court now. So they should come within six months. We have said that we will uh, Parliament Select Committee has been given a mandate uh, to bring the report within six months. Uh, is the government still proceeding with the much debated uh, 13 plus solution? All that has to be discussed in the Select Committee. So that's why we were very excited. The President appointed this, wanted to appoint the Select Committee. Because, you know, we are a democratic country. If we want to amend the constitution, we need two thirds majority. So all the parties should involve themselves in the discussion process. We can't keep some parties away and discuss and bring some resolution to parliament and implement it. His Excellency needs the consensus from all the parties and all the parties should take part in the process.